what they did to her? Why are we drawn to such things? What's wrong? Shouldn't we be arresting? He's not unhealthy. Do you know who? By now? Ah, John is we not going anywhere. What's your hurry? Don't talk to the police. I give up. Orders are orders. I was given the same orders you were. I can't let them get away with this. I know all about our war. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Orc victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Oh, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if... I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? It's natural to be scared. Then you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. I'll talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with, uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. 
I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Careful of the evidence. Interpol. Who do they think they are? Oh. You looking at something? Something wrong? Away from the crime scene, sir. Away from the crime scene. Doesn't mean I do. Fuck walking this deep. Huh. I think Maybe he found something. Are you a journalist? No, but she was. But she had enemies. I hear there's been a serious attempt. That was right, that shit was so common. No, this was. Uh. Something is going to push them into attacking us. Turn to buy the coffee. 
Two years too late already. Got nothing else to say. It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti-Alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. Fuck what he is. Gruesome, hmm. isn't it? This is some sick shit. We could just shoot any og we see. Even things. Nothing 
worth looking for. Don't try it, pal. Human restoration. Where are you going? Step backwards. A devastating blow. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? I think you know which one. And I think you know exactly why I'm here. Her body was found in an alley. That didn't take long. You think I killed Angela, right? Based on what? The fact that some prejudiced cop told you I did? So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. Doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say... Let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Men who kill? I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Center of some disturbance. 
serving health nurse right now. I'm more interested in how this might affect my work. In terms of human so hey, asshole! You can't go in there! cures and methodologies that will prevent deadly outbreaks from occurring. This is Eliza Cassandra. Responsible journalists, it can be. Underground websites and radio stations continue to praise the Juggernaut Collective. I mean, an elusive group of vigilante hackers for exposing big money corruption. What these journalists Where are you going? Chile, they committed massive voter fraud. When they rigged the electronic voting system. just keeps getting worse. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. Alright, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, 
I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In the perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me... Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. How long have you been a cop? <clears throat> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? Huh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against Hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Maybe Johnny wanted something to remember her by. Or... Maybe someone found a dead body and started cutting. There's a lot of scavengers around here. To them, taking an arm is like taking a wallet. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Needle, huh? Hmm. In which shoulder? The right shoulder, why? It's probably nothing. I just remember this other cop, Smolinski. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone following in the footsteps of an old murderer named, um, Svobodka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. Some of the things you've been noticing, I'll be honest, they're starting to sound very familiar. Someone like you would probably say it's worth looking into. And how would I do that? Smolinski died in that police station bombing. If any of his files survive, they would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe Smolinski found something that can shed light on this mess. 
I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Apparently the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey, not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. Were you able to get anything out of the witness? Sounded like she might have seen something. Who? Oh, little Miss Mousy? I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Apparently, I'm not good enough to talk to. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor, God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well... Suddenly, he's no trouble at all. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found this press ID on the victim. Right, she was a journalist. Hence the scandal with Radko Perry. I still don't consider that proof of anything. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? 
The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. Look, I didn't find who the killer is. Sometimes you have to admit there just isn't enough to go on. That the pieces don't fit. Not yet, anyway. But I do know Johnny Gunn didn't kill his wife. How can you be sure? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, rookie! Get over here! Interpol. It's time Who do to wrap this up. Are? All right, let's call it a night. Get someone to pick her up. What do we do about Johnny Gunn? What? Get him for now. Forget everything. Sir? I have no idea.